Good morning Year 6 and welcome to our next home learning lesson. Today's learning objective is to multiply unit fractions by non-unit fractions. Today's key vocabulary are the words fraction, multiply, numerator and denominator. Here are the answers from yesterday's activity. Make sure you pause the video, check your answers, and go back and correct any that you may have got incorrect. Pause the video now. Some new forests are being planted to help save the environment. Two thirds of the forest is deciduous this means it loses its leaves in winter. And the remaining third is evergreen. This means they keep their leaves all year round. If half of the deciduous trees to be planted are beech, what fraction of the forest will be beech trees? Pause the video and have a little think. So here's what the forest would look like. We have two thirds deciduous and one third evergreen. So using our multiplication of fractions knowledge from yesterday, we can say one half of two thirds is one third. Because remember, when we're multiplying fractions, it makes it easier to read the multiplication sign using the word of. So as you can see by the picture below, we can now cut two thirds of the deciduous trees in half, leaving one third as beech, one third as deciduous, and one third as evergreen. One quarter of the deciduous trees are to be oak. What calculation would you use here? Here's a picture to help you. I've divided the deciduous trees into quarters. So two thirds of the trees are now into quarters. So our number sentence should look like this. One quarter times two thirds equals what? Remember, this reads one quarter of two thirds. Let's just recap how to multiply fractions one more time. Remember, we start by multiplying the numerators, which are the top numbers. We then multiply the denominators, which are the bottom numbers. Our example shows 2 times 3 equals 6, and 4 times 6 equals 24. We now have 6 24ths. We know that we can simplify this fraction. To simplify the fraction, you must divide the numerator and the denominator by their largest common factor. A factor is a number that can be multiplied together with another to make the chosen number. So, what number can be multiplied to make 6 and 24. That's right, it's 6. 1 times 6 is 6. So that will be our new numerator. And 4 times 6 is 24. So 4 will be our new denominator. We've now simplified this fraction into 1 quarter. 
So now we've had that little recap, you should be able to answer this problem. Pause the video now and give it a go. So you should have got the answer 2 twelfths because 1 fourth of 2 thirds equals 2 twelfths. Remember, we start with the numerators. 1 times 2 is 2. And then we move to the denominators. 4 times 3 is 12, giving us 2 twelfths. But can we simplify this fraction? Think about the common largest factor. Pause the video now and see if you can simplify it. So you should have got one sixth. That's because the largest common factor is two. Two is in the two times table and two is in the 12 times table. So how many twos are in two? One. And how many twos are in 12? Six. That gives us the simplified version of the fact fraction one sixth. Let's look at a new forest now. This forest has been broken down differently to the last. Can you identify the fraction of deciduous trees and evergreen trees for this image? Pause the video now and write down the answer in your home learning book. That's right, there are four fifths of the trees that are deciduous trees and one fifth are evergreen trees. This time, half of the deciduous trees will be beech and a quarter will be oak. Can you work out the calculations? Pause the video now, think about what we've done throughout this lesson and note them down in your home learning book. So you should have the calculations 4 fifths times 1 half this is how many beech trees and 4 fifths times 1 quarter this will be how many oak trees pause the video now and see if you can answer these calculations using our knowledge that we've learned today Let's check those answers. So, for 4 fifths times 1 half, you should have got 4 tenths. That's because 4 times 1 is 4, and 5 times 2 is 10. For the next question, you should have got 4 twentieths. That's because 4 times 1 is 4, and 5 times 4 is 20. Let's think, can we simplify that? So what's the largest common factor? That's right, it's two. How many twos are in four? There are two twos in four. And how many twos are there in 20? That's right, there's 10. So our simplified version is two tenths. Now we're ready for today's main task. I would like you to complete all the questions on the new slide. Here they are. Pause the video now and complete today's main task. Now you've finished the main task, here's a challenge. Let's see if you've mastered multiplying pairs of fractions. Pause the video and complete both of these challenges. Well done Year 6. That's the end of another home learning lesson. See you tomorrow for the next maths home learning lesson.